All right, so Silent Swordsman finally got some new support, like, over ten years after it came out. Uh, the new two, well, there's actually, like, one more Silent support uh, that I'm not using because it's not as good as these ones. So basically for this one, uh, the new Silent Swordsman, if he's destroyed, you can special summon a Silent Swordsman straight from your deck. So Silent Swordsman level 7 is the obvious choice. And the way to bring him out is you need to tribute a warrior-type monster, but he can special summon himself. Plus, once per turn, you can negate the effect of a spell card, which is pretty great. Uh, so he floats on death into a stronger version of himself, which just straight up negates all spell cards, which is pretty great. It's not as good for you, since his deck does require a lot of uh, pendulum summoning, but usually if he's out, that's not a really big deal. And then here's their support card, uh, Silent Sword. This card, pretty good. Uh, I'm not sure if it's supposed to work this way, but... It's a quick play spell card, and the target gains uh, the Silent Swords monster. Will gain 1500 attack and defense. This effect cannot be negated, so you can use it under your own Silent Swordsman level 7. Uh, so anyways, they gain 1500 attack and defense permanently, and until the end of the turn, you're unaffected by your opponent's card effects. Uh, which is great. That uh, prevention of, you know, being immune to card effects makes it so you can use this on your opponent's turn to both save it from being destroyed by battle, because 1500 attack is a huge amount to gain, and being just immune to card effects in general for a turn, man this is so good. Plus, plus it even has another good effect. In the graveyard, you can banish it to search out a Silent Swordsman, which is basically going to be just the Silent Swordsman. Uh, so you can search off of it from the graveyard. It's just a really good card. <laughs> this, is a, this is a pretty good way to make some old support that's never used somewhat relevant. It's just give it a couple of really OP cards. I think uh, Konami has kind of figured that out. Anyways, the deck I used with it, uh, there are so many different ways you can do this since you just need warrior type monsters. And I thought I would just go with the Empowered Warriors with Ignites because I can bring them out pretty quickly and I just wanted to use Ignites, I mean Empowered Warriors because uh, they allow you to actually search out Silent Swordsmen. So I thought I'd get another way to search them out would be pretty great and everything else just supports the Pendulum Engine. Uh, also this right here, Battle Guard Howling, I love this card in Warrior decks. If your opponent targets a Warrior type monster you control with an attack or a monster card effect, you can send that card back to your opponent's hand and then inflict damage to your opponent equal to that monster's attack. This card single-handedly won me one of my duels, and it was, it was pretty great.